Hello and welcome to Physics Problems one by one. So here is a problem. As always, read it, maybe once, maybe twice, and then pause the video and try to solve it yourself. This is another installation about this block, right? We derive the formula, we derive the tangent. What they ask us now is because this block is hanging here on this rope, what is the force? And uh, let's put F. It's of course tangent, F tangent of this rope. This rope that goes from the ceiling to the center, to the axis of this block. Block is rotating, but there is a center, and this is where this force is applied. It may be, maybe actually, even you can put here a spring scale, and this spring scale will go like this. This would be not a bag of potato, but a block, block but a pulley with all this construction, right? And this may be a reading on the scale that's calibrated in terms of force and it will tell you what is the tension here, right? Uh, so basically we have a one, we have a two, and it's hanging from the ceiling and it's very tempting to say that the force equals this plus this. This would be very wrong though. Because because, well, for example, extreme case, when M2 is so much bigger than M1 that we can neglect M1, we know that everything would be falling here with G, and there should be no force here. So be very careful. But the solution here is very simple. We have the block. Block has this F tangent up, and this rope pulls down T, and this pulls down T and we have F tangent plus T this T plus this T and it equals M pulley pulley block is the same multiplied by its acceleration and it's stable it's not moving whether it's heavy or whether it's light it doesn't matter so we can have, if we write a proportion, uh, an x, we can say f tangent minus t because it's down minus t equals zero, f tangent equal 2t. So this is a trick. The tangent, f tangent is 2t, so we know that tangent of uh, we just discussed in a previous case when we have extreme situation, tangent is practically M1G. It's very small. So in this case it would be two tangent is two M1G. Uh, so tangent would be in a very extreme case when M1, uh, let's do it slowly, uh, when M1 is negligibly slow, small comparable to M2 when it is. We just showed in the previous video that T equal M2 M1G. Very small number. And in this case it means that tangent on this row is double, so it's 4 M1G, still very small. But if this is 10 kilo and this is 10 grams, thousand times smaller, then this force would be four times M1G of this. And M2G will be falling practically free fall. And, but the force here still would be needed to create those two T's and counteract on this in this matter. So no way that F tangent here uh, would be equal M1G or M2G. On the other hand, if M1 equal M2 equal M, and everything is balanced, there are no acceleration. This T is equal M1G, and it is absolutely the same as M2G, and it is the same as MG, and everything is balanced, and of course, the force here would be 2mg, 
and that's as it should be mg plus mg everything is balanced everything is hanging from here and that's another extreme case that we solved correctly uh, with our formulas and that should bring joy that everything is logical and everything is correct and I hope you liked it and you want more and if so ask a question underneath thank you bye